I'm going to give a demonstration of the usability and configuration capabilities of the common grid, which is used throughout the Clarity PPM application. So to uh, rearrange columns, just select and hold down the column header and move it to the location you wish. To adjust the column widths, take, select one of the column endpoints and move it and drag and drop as you'd like to. Or you can select the column menu and have the system auto size a particular column or all the columns within the grid. To add a column, select the column panel. You can filter for a particular field or you see the field you like. Add, click the checkbox and it will add it to the grid. With sorting, just click on the column header and it will sort appropriately based on the arrow. So arrow here, the sorting is descending. When you click again, it will uh, toggle back to ascending. You can also copy and paste. You can select a particular item within the grid, add that to your clipboard, and select the destination on where you want the values updated, and then you can paste it within the grid to do the update. There's also filtering. You click on the filter icon, and you can add up to 10 filters per grid. So here's an example where I want to say filter by idea priority. You just select your filter criteria and it will filter result sets based on your filter criteria. I also have some tips on other different ways you can do filtering. Like here's an example of, of filtering on start date. Dates uh, and other numeric fields you get a date uh, a range. Um, you can enter all both values of the range or say in this example I just want to filter on where start date is February 1st 2020 or greater just enter the first value of the range and it'll uh, display all the items that are equal to or greater than February 1st. Likewise, if you go to enter the last value of the range, it will make here, it will just return the results of all the records with a plan cost of 400,000 or less. And that's what uh, the results that have here. Um, another area within the uh, common grid is the flyout. So if you select a particular item, it will show this details. Here you can pull out and show the, uh, the flyout. So uh, you, you're able to configure the values in this flyout separately from what you have in the grid. It allows you to more easily edit certain fields that may be a little harder to edit within the grid. And users can configure you know, the flyout as they wish. So here you can search for a particular field and all you need to do is drag it within the flyout. For string fields, you can adjust the height of the, of the uh, field uh, as you need to. And as you exit, that field is uh, now uh, available within the flyout. Another nice feature is that as you select different rows within the grid, the field, the, the flyout dynamically updates with the, the content based on what's focused uh, what row focus is on in the grid. You can also adjust the width of the grid uh, as you need to. Also a nice item here is the ability to do group by. So I'm going to select this one where I'm grouping by both uh, on progress and filtering. So here let me go ahead and expand this one out and where uh, the values here is selected uh, based on progress, you get to choose one group by field, and it groups all the records based on each of the values that, uh, that I have. And so here's not started and started based on the progress. And also too, the group by works in conjunction with the filter. So you can have a filter, or this one here, I'm actually filtering, narrowing down my result set based on priorities of medium and high. If the field is numeric uh, or can be aggregatable, you'll show subtotals for each of the different group by rows within the grid. Now all the items I just showed you from the column layout, the width, the filtering, uh, the flyout configuration, and group by can be saved within the save view by just clicking the save as and you can save it to an updating an existing save filter or you can save it to a new save filter. You can also select save filters from other users, like this financial ones. So you can always select it, and from there, you, if or you want to collaborate with uh, other, you, uh, other uh, team members within your 
uh, your comp organization. You can also manage your saved views by clicking here by the Create My, or say if you don't want to see certain saved views from other users, you can go into the Created by Others and hide it from the list. And last but not least, you can export the grid to CSV to be uh, read into either Excel or you can either migrate the data into another third party system. And this concludes my demonstration of the common grid.